Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. In this video, we will be detailing a 1967 Ford Thunderbird. Let's do it. So just give you a quick overview of this vehicle. This was my boss's dad's car. It now belongs to my boss's sister um, and her husband, which my boss's uh, sister and brother-in-law. And they got it, you know, once once his dad passed away. It's got 67,000 original miles on it. It has been painted. I'm not sure if it's single stage or clear coat. I'm pretty sure it's clear coat just by looking at it, but I'm not 100% sure. Well, we'll figure that out, you know, probably in the next video. This video, we're gonna be washing the car. Um, there's some stuff I have to do to it. It's got mold on the inside of it. It's been sitting for two years. It hasn't moved. It's been in his uh, uh, pull barn for about two years. It's not heated, not AC. Um, it hasn't been washed or anything in two years, so it's pretty dusty. I mean, it's not terrible. I've actually seen worse, but it's, it's not terrible, but a lot of work needs to be done um, on this car and it's in really really good shape it really is now what happened let me tell you why it got repainted his dad bought it brand new in 1967 um, it was sitting in this shop right here in 1984 so 24 years ago and my boss owned the shop then and they were actually pulling an engine out of a car let me show you they're pulling an engine out of a car or out of a truck over here on this lift well not that one they had in ground lifts then they were pulling an engine out of there and the Thunderbird was parked over here where my lift is, but there was no lift there at all at the time. It was just a flat bay, and it's just sitting there. And it's sitting right over the top of the drain. See this drain? These drains, they drains go all the way across our floor. And the car they're pulling the engine out of leaked fuel down all night long and filled that drain all the way up with gasoline. Well, the vapors made it over here to the water heater, which used to be on the ground. And when it lit, it actually blew this door right here completely out. It pushed this wall way out. Well, all those flames went up the side of this car, both sides of this car, so it had to get repainted. It wasn't crashed or anything like that. So quick overview, I want to tell you guys, um, that's why it's been painted. Other than that, it's completely original, like I said, with 67,000 miles. Let me give you a quick walk around. It's really dusty. It's been sitting. Let me turn my light on to help out at all. It's been sitting. I was kind of hoping this was a single stage paint car because you guys have been asking me to do a single stage video, but I gotta have a car to do it on. And I was hoping this was gonna be one, but I don't. I really don't think it's going to be. It looks like clear coat to me. Oh, well, let me show you inside real quick. I don't know how I'm gonna do this yet. 50-50 vinegar and water, I believe. It's all mold. You don't want to breathe a bunch of that in. It's all over everything, so I got my we got work cut out for me on that. When he told me he was bringing it, he didn't make it sound like it was that bad. I mean, it is what it is. I'll do my best. Love the rear end of this car. I've never, I've never been around a 67. I don't think I've ever seen one, so really cool rear end. There's definitely a lot of swirls in the paint. I'll know more. Whoa, sorry. I wasn't paying attention to my camera here. I will definitely know more once we wash it. Come in in the morning, look at it, and see what the paint looks like, what, what state the paint is in. And I did take a bunch of pictures. I don't know if I'll put them in this video at all, but if if, I, if you don't see them in this video, you can go to the uh, Fab Automotive Detailing Facebook page. Just get on Facebook, go to Fab Automotive Detailing. I might put some on Instagram as well. So. There you go. And we're gonna start washing this car down. I'm gonna start with the wheels. And then I'm not sure how brittle this paint is and what I mean are soft. So I'm not gonna do a hard wash on it. I'm going to use Griot's Garage Super Concentrated Car Wash because I know that it is safe, pH neutral. I don't want something strong. I'm gonna wash it by hand and uh, dry it all. Actually, I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and decontaminate the paint after that with my synthetic uh, clay mitt. Let it dry overnight, come in, and start polishing and doing all the stuff that we need to do to it. But I think, I don't know how many parts this video is going to be. Um, it could be two, it could be three, I'm not sure. But it's going to be fun no matter what. So let me get everything set up. So here we go. Whoa, about knocked you guys off. Um, we have found ourselves at the right front wheel again. I don't know why this is the first wheel that I do. I don't know. I also 
Always start on the right side when I'm polishing. I don't, it's just me. Um, we're gonna be using Malco Complete Wheel and Tire. I have grown to really like this stuff. This is the second time you guys have seen me use it. Um, you notice I have gloves on this time because it does dry my hands out. So just, if you buy it, be cautious of that. It does dry your hands out, wear gloves. Um, stuff works really well. I'm really growing to like it. I've used it on my own cars since I've made that video you guys watched and I really, really like it. Now I forgot to bring my degreaser with me. So we're gonna still spray it in here too. But I'm sure that these tires have probably never been cleaned. That'd be my guess. I just hope I have enough of this. I should have enough. If not, then I'll be turning the camera off, and luckily I only live two miles from where I work, so. Worst case scenario. Look, you see it? See it pulling all the dirt down? Let me show you guys. It's pulling all the dirt right off the tires without me even touching it. I really like this stuff. I have not tried it as a spray on hose off yet and I probably won't just because I don't want to waste product if I have to do it again. They say you can though, like I said. I like to get my brush wet first. We're going to let it dwell here for another couple seconds. Because it does say to let it sit on. I, remember, I don't remember what the directions were, but I want to say it was like five minutes. Man, there's no way I'm going to do that, but I mean, you can see, I mean, it's pulling all the brown out of the tire. These are just hubcaps, but we're going to clean them as if they were wheels. And get some more water on here. There we go. Woo! all the white coming off I don't mean I want to say like it's taking the white off that's not what I mean but all the dirt see uh, the tire the sidewall is turned white because of the white wall I've never cleaned white walls with this so we're gonna find out what it does I think it's gonna do really good though just by looking at it now I'm gonna use a fender brush wheel brush to clean the wheels These are tarnished pretty good. Probably not a whole lot I can do with that. These hubcaps. Of course, maybe that's the way they're supposed to look. I honestly don't know. I don't know much about these older cars. And then we're gonna hit the fender wells, the wheel wells. Plenty of room to get my brush in this. Now you guys can't see this, but this is a brush that I got from Griot's Garage as well. I'm not gonna go crazy on that because it's really not that dirty. They don't they don't drive this, so I haven't driven it for two years. It hasn't moved for two years. All right, let's spray it off, see what it looks like. Oh, those white walls are gonna look really good. Oh, this stuff works good on white walls. I'm telling you guys, I'm really, really starting to like this product. There you go. Wheels look good, tires look good, wheel wells look good. I'll go ahead and finish the rest of it and we'll start washing the car. So we're gonna be using Griot's Garage Super Concentrate Car Wash. I'm gonna be using the Griot's Garage Foaming Sprayer instead of, man, that light is bright. Hang on. Knocking you guys all over the place, but ooh, that's way too bright. Griot's Garage Foaming Sprayer instead of my foam cannon because you guys will see why here in just a few minutes. So we're gonna put two ounces in it. 
Now I'm, I'm using my uh, Detail Guards Turbine Dirt Lock filter in the bucket so I don't have my measuring cup like I do in the Griot's Garage bucket. So I gotta use an actual measuring cup. I'm gonna put two ounces in both. There's two ounces there. Put some in the bottom of the bucket first. You guys see how thick that is? And we're gonna put some right in our wash pad. This stuff is really, really thick. This is a great soap. And it does so much. I've got a gallon of it, and I bet I've done 40 cars with that gallon, and it's still half full. Yeah, that's most of it. It's good. We're gonna put two ounces in it again. If I have two ounces left, it doesn't look like I do. I guess I should have thought about filling my bottle up before I left the house. Uh, it's right at two ounces. <laughs> I got lucky. Now I want to fill my foaming sprayer up first. This is yeah, lukewarm water. It's not it's not hot water. But it's good enough. And we're just gonna dump this in. See that? Stuff is really thick. While that's going in there, we'll start filling this up. Now oh, that smells so good. And it stays sudsy the entire time you're washing the car. I don't care if you watch, you do it for 20 minutes. It'll stay sudsy the whole time. That's good enough for the foam sprayer. I like to put the water in the foam sprayer first because if you put the soap in first and use like a spray wand like this, you put water in there, it suds out and you don't get nearly as much water in there. Look at this stuff. It's amazing car wash. Highly, highly recommend it. Everything I use, I'll put down in the description. Hopefully I'll remember to do that. So then once we put the top on, and I took the orifice completely out of this because I think it works better without the orifice in it. I'm just gonna shake it up real good, get, get all the soap mixed up inside there. Then you're ready to go. Okay, so this, I'm gonna show you why I'm using the foam sprayer. I learned this off of Larry Casilla from Ammo NYC a long time ago. I've been a subscriber of his for a long time. Um, one of the best detailers in the world in my opinion. And for delicate uh, paint finishes, for delicate finishes, or older paint like this, this is what, how he suggests to do it. It's a really good way to do it. <clears throat> We're gonna plug it in here. We're gonna go ahead and foam the hood. Okay, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your wash mitt, which has suds all over it. All you're going to do is you're going to spray your foam in as you work this down. You're going to flip it over to the other side, the clean side. And you're going to dip it in the bucket. Oh, crap, I got to take a walk now. My wife's going to kill me. That's got soap all over my Fitbit. Do it all over. Probably gonna be right in your eyes way. It does take a lot more soap to do it like this, but it's safe. Now, a lot of times I'll just wring it out. I know that sounds stupid, but I'm gonna wash it again. Now, I'm not gonna do that for the fenders. Stuff like that just for the really dirty parts the hood the hood the roof and the trunk so i went ahead and did the the hood the roof and the trunk um, you guys notice something about this 
There is water on this. You can see there or not. See it? There's no protection on this car. So there's no wax that I have to worry about stripping, which I pretty much figured that. I didn't even bring anything with me to strip wax because I figured it didn't need it. I'm going to try to give you guys the best view possible because our shop is not really set up for washing cars. There's not a lot of area because of the lifts, but this will all be in a time lapse. But We're going to go at it. Okay, so we're gonna move on to my synthetic clay mitt by Greer's Garage. I did put a little bit more soap in my bucket. Normally I dump it out and I do a new bucket, but I didn't bring enough soap with me, so this is gonna have to work. So you guys have never seen me do it like this. It's really easy. It's actually faster than using speed shine and going around the whole vehicle. But before you do anything on the paint, you wanna break it in on the glass. Do not come to a stop. Because if you come to a stop, it will leave little diamond marks on the paint. You don't have to do all the glass. I just like to do the front and sides. That's it. I'm going to throw it in the bucket and let it sit in there and soak while I rinse. Keep the paint wet where I haven't been so I don't get water spotty because this is hard water here. That's why it seems like I'm in a hurry because I am. I'm not worried about the super concentrated car wash when it's on there because it won't spot, but once you rinse it off, this, this will spot this water. So here we go. We're going to start in the hood. Oh, I can hear it. Definitely needs it. Like I said, do not come to a stop on the paint. It's definitely the fastest way to clay. I don't think it's as effective, but it's still good. It still gets rid of most contaminants. And then when you put it down your bucket, you know, you get any, your, any of the contaminants you have in the glove get right off in the water. Cleaning them right off of there. Like I said, I'm in a hurry. It's cold in here. I'm starting to sniffle. Like I did in my first few videos I ever made on YouTube. <laughs> they were kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I was sniffling the whole time. I probably thought I was snorting coke and making my videos. <laughs> Not me. Not who I am. It's just cold in here. When I'm working my butt off, I start sniffling. Pretty much it and you can use that on glass plastic you can use it on pretty much anything on the exterior of the car
All right, let's get this thing dried. I like to use my works blower and my Shiny's Details Bull Shine uh, twister towel, twister drying towel. It's a great towel, highly recommend it. Start with the glass first, so it doesn't spot. There you go, for the most part, this car is completely dry. I need to go around and get all the, the, uh, the badges and around the door handles with the blower, inside the doors, stuff like that. But I did the whole car with one towel. It is soaking wet right now, but it picks up the water really, really well. And these towels are an amazing price compared to um, other companies that have these types of towels, these, this newer style microfiber that picks up the water really well. Um, it, works, it works great, but... Um, yeah, so we'll finish up the video here in just a second. Okay, I am done washing it. I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around. I wanna show you my suds in my bucket. Still real sudsy. But it's amazing what a wash will do for a car that hasn't been washed in several years. The wheels and tires turned out great. Everything's still drying. I got the door jams and everything. Let's see if I can find see any imperfections in the paint with this light because I do not have my astro light that I use for that I normally use for you guys to show you yeah you can kind of see them right there you get the light see all those just a lot of swirls very fine though I'm hoping I can use a very mild polish is what I'm hoping let's see if I can find any of those diamonds in the paint from using that synthetic clay I thought I saw some See all those right there? It's real cloudy looking. I'm trying to block the light. All that. That's what happens when you use a synthetic clay. That's why I say I don't use it unless I plan on doing correction. But like I said, just a wash. And this thing looks so much better. And I'm really excited about this now. I really am. When I, when I first got here, I kind of was like, oh man, I got a lot of work. Hope I can make this thing turn out okay. But I think it's going to look amazing when we get done with it. Well, that's going to do it for the first video on the 1967 Ford Thunderbird. Uh, just real quickly go over what we did. Um, so first thing that we did was we washed the car, actually cleaned the tires, cleaned the wheels and the wheel wells the best we could. And then from there, and we use a Malco Complete wheel and tire. I'm, I'm trying to think as I'm talking and that doesn't work out sometimes. Um, and then from there, we washed the car. I used the Greer's Garage foaming sprayer. I did not use my pressure washer as you've seen because when I do the really dirty parts of the older cars like this with the older paint I like to use go with the uh, safest way possible is the best way I could say it and that's using the foaming sprayer and spraying right into your mitt as you go down the hood down the down the roof down the trunk the side panels don't normally get nearly as dirty because they weren't all the dirt was on top because this thing's been sitting so I wanted to make sure I went a very safe way at that and I use Griot's Garage super concentrated car wash in the foam foaming gun and in my bucket then after that, I used the Griot's Garage Synthetic Clay and clayed the vehicle. And then I used the Shiny's Bullshine Twist Microfiber Drying Towel. That thing is amazing. You guys, I'll put it, everything down in the, in the description of what I use in this video. And then I use, also use the Works uh, Electric Leaf Blower to dr help me dry the car because that really gets rid of a lot of the standing water on top of the car and makes drying the, drying the car so much easier with a drying towel. And I have no doubt in my mind that I could use just that drying towel and I could have dried this whole vehicle even soaking wet without using the blower. But it just makes my job easier to use the blower and then go to the microfiber towel. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next video is going to be paint correction on this vehicle. Um, like I said, it could be two, could be three parters. I'm not sure. It just depends on when I go to edit, how much time, how long my videos are. 
when I go to edit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy all the videos coming up. And if you do enjoy this, did, did enjoy this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. Join our community. We are we are growing quickly every day. We are growing. Um, I have I have subscribers that are like like I said every day, and I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. And we go live every single Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We talk about detailing. We talk about all kinds of stuff. A lot of times it has nothing to do with detailing. Um, we do mail calls. Um, a lot of my subscribers send me stuff, and if you guys want to send me anything, I got a PO box down in the description. Uh, if you want to send me, uh, you know, a detailing product you want me to try or a towel or something like that, send it to my PO box. I'll give you a shout out in my video when I do it. Um, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we will see you in the next one.